Um, thanks everyone for coming to the post-lunch session. Um, so, my name is Rupert Saville. I work in the EPA Litter Prevention Unit as a Senior Project Officer. I'm going to present today on how the Hay Tosser campaign is tracking in achieving our litter reduction targets. And I want to use the example of our... I want to use the example of our recent autumn Tosser campaign that happened in uh, May and April, that was our biggest campaign yet. Use that as a bit of a background to show you how the campaign is, um, remains effective. So, just a bit of an overview of the pre um, presentation. I'll have a look at where we're at with um, our New South Wales litter strategy, what's working, what's not, and then really delve into the recent campaign and look at the outcomes from that campaign. Um, the level of community engagement we got, the collaboration we achieved, and then our campaign outcomes. So, where are we at with the state of litter in New South Wales? You're probably aware that litter is a Premier's priority. Um, Premier set a target to reduce the volume of litter in New South Wales by 40% by 2020. Um, thankfully, the new Premier has maintained that priority, um, which is good news, and, and why wouldn't she? Litter is a very sexy topic. And as you can see by that trend, we have a nice, um, slow trend um, in reduction in litter volume in New South Wales. Um, I do want to make the, the point that litter data is inherently variable, and even within these numbers, we see a lot of variability between individual it litter items. But what's important is the trend over many years, and that's really heartening to see that trend going down um, from, from basically when we started this campaign in 2012-13. Um, and that, that target is really driving us at the moment. Um, that is, that is um, bringing out lots of people on, on, on board. Um, it's got leadership, we've got money, we've committed another $30 million to litter up until 2020. Um, so there's, there's not many times in government you get this perfect storm of leadership, finances, um, so resources, you get this drive and you've got a great target. So it's, it's a good time to be in litter. <laughs> um, what's working? So New South Wales has a, um, a litter strategy based on five key pillars and we know we need all those pillars working together um, to sustain behaviour change. There's no silver bullet, we need them all working at the same time. Um, we've committed $8.2 million already to the Hay Tosser campaign. Um, and while that's kind of the, the dressing, that is also the hook that links other elements of the campaign. Um, the campaign has been really successful in driving our litter message and telling people simply put it in the bin. Um, we, um, we regularly test our campaign messages um, through focus groups and surveys. Um, consistently, we find nine out of ten people support the campaign messages. They support the hate officer message. Seven out of ten recall the campaign. Um, so it's having impact. It's having. It's got relevance. Um, people are really responding to the campaign messages, which is great. Um, in our latest group of um, focus group research that we've just completed, we did notice a little bit of campaign fatigue around the hate officer message. Um, so we will look to adapt that based on those findings, and we're already getting pictures from people to see how we can take that message forward in the next four years. Um, and we will be forming a, um, a committee in June, and if people want to be involved in that, um, in shaping that next message, um, talk to me after or get in touch with me. Um, I don't have my details up here, but I've got lots of business cards. Um, but I will say the TOSA message is staying. Um, the, the, the focus group for us, for the results show that people really respond to that. It's becoming part of the lexicon. Um, it will be just used in a different way and adapted, um, but the Tosser message will be out there in 17 to 20, 2017 to 20. Um, we continue to support um, the right bin infrastructure in the right places through our community and council litter grants. So we've already provided some $5.5 million in grants, and we've got another 5.5, 5.7, and we've got another 5.5 for 2017 to 20. Um, available. Uh, we've got $1.25 million for regional waste groups opening up next month and we've got another one25 for councils um, opening up in October. Um, get in touch with me if you want more info on that. Um, we're also pushing our enforcement strategy through the report to EPA report littering from vehicles <laughs> portal and that's receiving strong support in the community and I'll, I'll touch on some of those figures later on in the presentation. Um, we are res res rewarding responsible behaviour through the introduction of the CDS um, scheme in December too. 
and that will have a big impact. We know that, um, it was probably talked about this morning, but 43% of our litter volume is CDS eligible containers. So we expect that's going to have a massive impact in driving us towards reaching that Premier's target. Um, another key part of our, our campaign, our strategy rather, is uh, ongoing monitoring and evaluation of everything we do. So we track litter data through the National Litter Index, as well as doing our focus groups and surveys on how um, littering behaviour is changing. Um, we're also doing, we're just in the process of doing litter counts along the whole New South Wales coastline um, to develop a bit of a baseline from which we can assess the impact of the CDS of, of um, plastic um, bottles in the marine environment. So it's a big part of our campaign and we adapt, we constantly adapt and change our strategy to make sure we're hitting the right behaviour change buttons. What needs improvement? We, we know from our research that enforcement needs, we need to push the enforcement message a little bit harder. Um, this, these are results from our latest focus group um, which show only 20% of the New South Wales community think it's likely that they will be caught and fined for littering. Um, we have a target for this year to be 24%, so we're not reaching that target yet and we really want to push that. We know that that's key to changing, uh, to sustaining behaviour change. Um, I was talking to someone from uh, the transport for, uh, department the other day who worked on the seatbelt campaign and they said that the real click for them in changing in, in the success on the um, seatbelt campaign was that fear of being caught and fined by police. Um, so that was, the, that was the click to change the click, that's a bit of a pun, but not intended, um, to change people's behaviour and then after a while it just, became, it just became the norm. So this is the same thing we're trying to do with litter, it's just getting people to think about that, you know, about their behaviour and you know, be a little bit more conscious. So with all that in mind, knowing we need to improve enforcement, we set about um, creating a fully integrated education, enforcement and community engagement campaign for our autumn Operation Tossa campaign that went from 19th of March to 15th of April. And we really wanted this to be a big, in your face, on the ground um, campaign, on the ground litter enforcement, promoting the report to EPA portal, promoting the fines, um, collaborating with as many stakeholders and partners as we could, um, and having some big, you know, big media impact, big presence. Um, and it has been our biggest campaign to date. We've had most um, collaborators and partners on board and we've had a huge media impact. Uh, for us, it's, it's showing us that, and this is all done under the Haytosser banner, it's showing that people are getting on board um, and, and that the campaign still has relevance and is building momentum. Um, so how do we do it? For us, obviously, collaboration is key. We can't, we can't do this alone, so we wanted to get as many councils involved as possible. We sent a letter to all um, general managers of all councils in New South Wales um, seeking their support um, and in the letter we included um, data on how many litter fines their council had issued. We compared that we also provided comparison with how many litter fines um, were issued, what was the average across councils and then we also provided data of, of what, how, what the community, uh, the community based reports via the report to EPA app, uh, report to EPA portal. And, and what you could see often was that the council was issuing no litter fines, but the community was issuing hundreds. There was, so there was this really dissonance between what was going on. Um, and I did get a call from, from one person, and they may be in the room, um, as soon as this letter went out saying, what the bloody hell are you doing? I'm getting all these calls from general managers saying, why haven't we done more on litter enforcement? Our community, our community is really involved and we've done nothing. We've issued no um, fines. So there was a bit of a behaviour change prompting um, technique used there and, and it worked really well. That's not the only reason but we did get almost half of all councils involved in this campaign who supported this campaign. Um, 37, 30? 30, 30 of those um, increased on the ground litter enforcement during this period. Um, Willoughby Council, we developed, a, we entered into a partnership with Willoughby Council who are leaders in litter enforcement and they um, they provide a capacity building for councils who haven't historically focused on litter enforcement. So again, new partnerships, different ways where we're selling the message and getting people involved. Um, we also developed a communications toolkit which just made it easier for councils just to pick up this toolkit, had a whole bunch of campaign materials in there, messages, media releases, images that they could just use, throw on their website. It became really easy for councils to support when you've got all this other infrastructure and message already developed really easy to just leverage off the, the state campaign. 
Um, so for us, that was amazing, having half of the councils involved in this campaign, um, and, and it really had impact. And, and, and of course, we're all de um, de delivering the same consistent message. Also, we partnered up with our state government colleagues. So Roads and Maritime Services has now drunk the drunk the litter Kool-Aid, and they're, on, they're involved in helping us um, target litter along roadsides. We formed a Tidy Roads Steering Committee who have members of cross government, local council, and industry groups who are all on board. And what we've got in this committee is decision makers in the room who can make decisions at that point in time, and we are really getting some stuff done. More will be coming out about this in the coming months. Um, but for this campaign, Roads and Maritime Services supported the campaign by displaying campaign messages all across um, their variable messaging sign network. Um, the New South Wales Police supported the campaign with, um, through their social media, and they've got a quite a um, well-supported or well-followed social media account on Facebook, and some of their posts reached up to 1.5 million each. Um, New South Wales Police Force targeting littering. We also partnered for the first time with Service New South Wales, and they prompted about 300,000 of their customers who were coming to renew their licence, um, told them about the report to EPA portal, um, gave them a little card with instructions on how to report um, littering from vehicles. So again, we're not only increasing our registrations, but we're letting people know there's people out there that will um, report you if you're litter from, littering from a vehicle. So again, coming at, coming at you from different angles, I suppose. Um, also, Transport for New South Wales, anyone in Sydney would have seen the transport network completely plastered with hay tosser signs. We had it all over buses, ferries, um, trains and taxis. Um, this partnership was worth some $1.1 million of media that we, we, we was unpaid um, through, through that partnership with Transport for New South Wales. <coughs> Excuse me. And we estimate that reached about 10 million people, 10 million commuters each week. Um, so it was really, it was really hard to, to miss. Some of the, this is just in Central Station, everywhere, gates there. Um, again, um, building our partnership, um, collaborating with more people, delivering, delivering different messages in different ways, all under the same hate tosser banner. Uh, toss We're also, um, starting to get traction with our industry partners as well. So in this tidy road steering committee, we have members of, from McDonald's, uh, Woolworths, Imperial Tobacco, uh, Australian Food and Grocery Council who are on board. Um, and we're developing these, these head office relationships which is facilitating sort of local access on the ground too. So um, I know like councils like Canterbury Bankstown and Blacktown now are trialling little local um, litter projects um, with their with their local franchisees, McDonald's, that has sort of been generated through these relationships we're de developing at head office. Um, for this campaign, Woolworth supported it by um, putting hay tosser messages on all their fu fuel pumps, um, and they had in-car litter bags in all their 290 um, Caltech service stations. Um, we had a first partnership with McDonald's for this campaign and they displayed in-store um, hey uh, digital um, messaging or messaging on all their digital screens. Um, so that was great and we really, we're really wanting to push this um, partnership with McDonald's and they're slowly getting on board. And we're also working with our community too. So the report to EPA app has got a huge public support now. Um, we've got some 20 2,000 registered reporters who have issued 28,000 um, reports and we've issued as a result of that 19,000 fines. This is a graph here showing the um, so the number of new registra registered uh, reporters each month. This is the first time we really promoted the uh, reporter Tossa Creative out in the marketplace in our campaign back in November. Then that has been sustained and now in the last campaign we've seen another, another spike there. Um, that's a 76% increase in registered reporters since the same time last year. So uh, for us, that, that shows us the community is responding to the messaging we're putting out there. Um, again, you know, it's not, it's not, for us, it's not about increasing fines. We don't get the fine revenue. Um, it's about raising that perception that there are people out there that you will be fined if you litter from your vehicle. Um, there are now 22, 
22,000 sets of eyes out in the road that are watching. Sounds a bit devilish, doesn't it? Um, and to top it all off, and to give it a bit of a more of a positive spin for this campaign, um, we wanted a big community engagement um, initiative to really hook people in, uh, to explain this is you know this is why we're taking this approach. This is why we're 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 taking the enforcement approach. Litter has an impact in the environment. So I'm just going to show you a quick video. Um, sorry. So so we dropped 40 GPS track bottles across New South Wales and the waterway. Um, in Sydney Harbour, in Newcastle, in Wagga, and a few other places I can't remember now. Um, and then you were able to track the movement of these um, bottles in the waterway. Uh, it really, for us, this was just a hook to get people in, get people engaged, and it was picked up by the media and it had a big, um, big impact. The minister launched the um, initiative in Parramatta River, and that was displayed on, that was broadcast on Channel 9 to 1.4 million people. Um, and we're developing a bigger two-minute video of all the, all the bottle movements, but I'll just show you a quick snippet. So these were four bottles that were dropped in Sydney Harbour. For us, it, it's it's just showing that um, you know litter can it sticks around. Some of it got stuck in a mangrove. Some of it went off to Manly. Big storm event hit. One shot off out to sea, back into Bundina, and ended up on Cronulla Beach. Um, we'll have a big bigger um, video available that you can we can use to keep telling the story. Um, yeah. So, what was the media impact of this campaign? So, from our message in a bottle alone, we generated an enormous amount of unpaid advertising. So, at the top there, we had about 114 separate media items. So, this was picked up a lot in local media. Um, really strong interest from local media and radio. Um, we also trialled new initiatives where we seeded. Um, a new word I've, I've just learnt, seeded stories in, um, uh, what are they called, professional bloggers, so these two down at the bottom, these are professional bloggers who we seed stories and they talk about litter in their own words, so it's kind of, again, getting the message out in different ways, reaching different people. Um, this little cartoon up the, the top here, so Liverpool Plains Council, we had a lovely fellow there who supported the campaign, ended up managing to get their local cartoonist to do a, a, a cartoon in their paper and yeah, I, I found that truly heartwarming, that, can, that cartoon, and it's um, sitting on my computer now, cut out on my computer. Um, we also had a big social media campaign, um, and again, being a little bit more different in the way we tell, we sell our messages, um, trying to be a little bit funnier, a bit more quirky, um, again, engaging the community, starting a conversation. Um, obviously, with anything on the social media, you've got to be prepared for a bit of pushback, and there always is. There's always a vocal um, minority that criticised the campaign. And I, and I raise this because um, it's very easy to be dissuaded by um, vocal minority who are critical. Again, we go back to our data and it shows us that nine out of 10 people support the campaign. Um, so don't be dissuaded by, by comments like that. Overall, um, the outcome of the campaign really showed us this has been our biggest so, so far. We're getting more partners on involved. involved. Um, there's been a huge public and media interest. We're really building momentum. Um, and we, we just we feel the campaign still has relevance. It's effective. We're seeing a decline in litter. Um, and it continues, yeah, continues to, to deliver against our, our litter objective.